This is David at Mash IT. Now tonight we're going to be looking at the Ugreen USB-C 6-in-1 multifunction adapter. Now this is a nice little dongle that not only is a USB-C to your laptop, it also has USB 3s, memory card and HDMI 4K 60Hz in one adapter. Now this is quite good because all the adapters I've got previously don't do 4K 60Hz, they only do 4K 30Hz. And this is something that really annoys me about most of these USB-C docks. So this is something we're going to be testing out in a little while. Now this is especially useful for, to me at the moment because we've just had the Surface Pro 8 in which is only USB-C and I was looking for a decent dock to go with it. So thank you very much Ugreen for sending this in. Now although Ugreen have sent this to us, they're not actually vetting this review over before it goes out. Uh, so these opinions are my own. And uh, let's open it up and take a look. All right, here we go. So in the box, again, just a couple of labels. And inside, I've got the dongle. Let's get out of the packaging. Now, first things first, just want to point out that this, what is quite nice about this, it's got a nice braided cable here. This is very unusual. Most of the dongles I've got are pretty cheap on the old cables. This feels quite premium. It comes in a space gray, which would be great for my Mac. And it has a little protective cap on the end of the USB-C. Now, let's take a quick look at the ports. Now here we have the 4K 60 Hertz port. This is important because most USB-C docks, as I mentioned earlier, don't do 60 Hertz on the 4K. And we will be testing this shortly. We've got three USB 3s. This is something that I love because obviously with these devices that come with pure USB-C these days, I'm always plugging in mice, different dongles and adapters. So having these here ready for me, that's really quite handy. And then at the bottom, we have got the full size SD card slot and a compact SD card slot. And apparently you can transfer from one to the other as well. So we will be testing that. So let's plug all this in and take a look. Okay, so as mentioned, got the Surface Pro 8 here and we've got the M1 MacBook Pro, just the 13 inch. And the reason I've chosen both of these two to actually test this device is basically because of the lack of ports. Now with the Surface Pro 8, We've got just the two Thunderbolt 4 ports and with the MacBook Pro 13 inch from last year, again, we're talking just uh, two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Now, although these are versatile ports being Thunderbolts, I do miss having legacy ports. So being able to plug my mouse in, being able to plug in an HDMI cable in and an SD card slot. And that's where this device comes in very handy. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to test the Surface Pro 8 first. So I'm going to plug my adapter straight into the Surface Pro 8. Here we are. And if you're interested, the review for the Surface Pro 8 will be coming in about next week. So look out for that one and subscribe if you aren't already. So first things first, I am going to obviously plug in a mouse because I much prefer using a mouse than a touchpad. Straight into my USB 3 port and we're off. OK, so let's plug in some SD card slots. Now I've got some Samsung 64 gig Evo uh, cards. They're pretty good micro SD card slots. So there is the micro SD and here is a full size. And there we can see both these drives appearing in my uh, device manager. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy some of the files from the SD card slot to the internal hard drive. So let's take a nice size so like one and a half gigabytes that will do nicely so I'm going to copy this just into my downloads folder on the internal SSD on the Surface Pro 8 now we can see 85 megabytes per second uh, I think that's pretty much where these cards max out so we're getting full performance on these cards or oh, 87 and that is from the micro SD that's pretty much done and now I'm going to test the same from the full size SD card slot so let me just quickly go into the Get a 7.7 gig, copy that one, put that to my downloads, and we're off. So there we have it, yep, 86, 87 again. Um, both these cards running full speed on their reads, pretty impressive. Next, we're going to actually copy from one card to the other card, see how that goes. Right, so I'm going to go to my full size SD card slot. And I'm going to take a nice, let's have a look, 760 megabyte file. And then go to my micro SD and I'm going to just dump that in there. And there we have it. 
So we're now copying across from one card to the other. We're getting 33 megabytes a second, um, because obviously we're limited by the write speeds of the card. I don't know if anyone actually would utilize this, but it's handy that we can actually do that. Some of these readers, you can only use one of the cards at a time, but with this one, both of them are showing up. Now that's finished. What I'm gonna do, next test, I'm gonna plug in one of my external SSDs. Now obviously working with these video files, they are large. I pretty much live off external SSDs. So the fact that I can have plenty of things plugged in is very handy. Now, so again, let's go to my device manager. I'm gonna take the files off my, uh, my downloads folder. There we go, 1.4 gigabytes. And I'm gonna copy that straight onto my SSD. And there we go, 280 megabytes a second. So pretty impressive. I think that's pretty much what I get with plugged directly into the PC with this drive. It is only a SATA SSD. Right, so those are all tested. Next test, we're gonna try the 4K 60 Hertz monitor. So I'm gonna use my HDMI cable for my 4K screen on my desk, which I use for my Mac mini. So let me just switch it to an HDMI port. All right, let's have a go. And we're up and running. Right, so as you can see here, we've got two SD card slots, we've got an SSD, a mouse, and now a 4K screen all running on this adapter. So what I'm gonna quickly do, you can see here, I've got an extended display. I'm gonna go into my display settings. You can see here, both my monitors are set up. If I go to the actual 4K screen, we're gonna to go to advanced display. And there we have it, 4K 60 Hertz. Exactly what we wanna see. Now, a lot of the cheaper dongles, you'll only get 4K 30 Hertz. I don't know about you, but for me, that's quite painful running it at 30 Hertz. 60 Hertz is the minimum I can kind of live with. Right, so let's just unplug some of these bits and pieces here for a second. I'm gonna to waste too much time, but we're gonna just try the Mac Pro 13, make sure it is just as compatible with my Mac. Right, so let's just test the Mac out. Let's start with the mouse. There we are, we have mouse. There's our first SSD card. There's our second SSD card, brilliant. So they're picking up as normal. Let's just quickly just copy A5. I'm not gonna spend too much time as we've already just done this on the Surface Pro. So I'm gonna just take a quick file I'm just gonna copy that straight to the desktop. So there we have it. About the same speed as the Surface Pro 8. And I'm gonna quickly, like I did before, plug my SSD in there. I'm just gonna take a file that I've copied across, put it straight on the SSD. And we're done. So yep, working exactly as we'd expect. And lastly, let's check the 4K 60 Hertz screen on the Mac. And then we are done. Right, we are up. Let's just go into settings, display settings, 4K HDR, and as you can see, 4K 60 Hertz. Got my display extended. Let's pop that over there so you can see. So, full use at 60 Hertz of our 4K screen. Exactly what I'm after. So there we have it. This is a very inexpensive dongle. Uh, it's about 21 or 22 dollars, I think, on Amazon at the moment. Link will be in the description down below. And for that, you're getting a very, very functional dongle that gives you a lot of the missing ports back on a lot of these modern day Ultrabooks. As I say, the Surface Pro 8 and the MacBook Pro 13, just the base model, you're talking two ports. Now, unless you're a very light user, that's really difficult to live without the dongle life. Now, I've never been a fan of the dongle life, but unfortunately it kind of is here to stay. So for this price, I wouldn't mind putting one of these in my laptop bag and probably having one on my desk. So really very impressive, really impressed with these, and the build quality is very good. So this will definitely be going in my laptop bag. I'm also impressed that you know on both Mac and Windows, I'm getting great performance, no dropouts, and I can use both SD cards and an SSD all at the same time. Now hopefully you found this video useful, and as I mentioned earlier, the Surface Pro 8 video, that'll be coming out next week, and uh, you'll probably see a little bit more of this dongle in that, no doubt. And lastly, thank you for watching.